Hey, what's up guys? Brian Keane, back with another free story for you. Today I'm going to be reading Waiting for Darkness, which is a bonus story in my new paperback, The Cage, on sale now on Amazon.com, available for your Kindle, Nook, or in book form like this. This is a short one, so don't bother going for a beer. Trying not to cry, Artie waited. His older sister, Betty, had buried him up to his head in the sand. He'd been reluctant, but Artie feared her disapproval more than being buried. Betty liked to tease him sometimes. The sand had been warm at first. Now it was cold. His skin felt hot. His lips were cracked, blistered. His throat was sore, and when he tried to call for help, all that came out was a weak, sputtering sigh. Not that anyone would come, even if he could shout. It was the off-season, and the private beach had been deserted all day. Just him and Betty, and the men. They'd appeared while Artie pleaded with Betty to free him. Their shadows were long. Betty's laughter died. The men didn't speak or smile. Just walked right up and punched Betty in the face, again and again, until she bled. Then they carried her away. Artie licked the film of snot coating his upper lip. Gnats flitted around his face. A small crab scuttled near his ear, waving its claws in agitation. The sun disappeared beneath the ocean. The waves grew dark, black. Artie watched the darkness creep closer. It was very loud. The end.